So hello guys, welcome back to Gather Now Network. My name is Amon Mukisa. Today I'm back again to clarify more about the last episode we made with you guys talking about the things you need if you're to start up a coffee shop in Uganda or in any country in Africa. So I decided to come up with 20 things you need to start with when starting up a coffee shop. So grab a cup of coffee. I have my iced coffee right here. It's a beautiful day out here. I know Uganda is very beautiful and I'll be sipping on my mm, iced coffee as well as you sip on your cup of coffee or tea and we delve into this. Otherwise, thank you for joining me today. So the number one thing you need to be with uh, in mind when starting up a coffee shop is the location. So these are the top 20 things you need to be mindful of when starting up a coffee shop one is a location the location is very 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 key when you're starting up a coffee shop because when you locate your coffee shop in a very very unreachable place who's going to come over there yeah? if you locate a coffee shop in a place where there are not be children of 10 years children of 10 years don't take coffee so you need to look for a strategic place where one it's accessible to it's popular because when you hear all the coffee shops that are located in different places you find out that the place is either popular or it's known for something case in point uh if you hear a place known as kololo and you put your place i mean your coffee shop in kololo and you start branding it believe me you everyone will be running to that place nakasero that's in case you in uganda i mean um when you hear places of like uh Cementi, Bugolobi, when you put your coffee shop in such places, believe me you, it's a strategic place for you. Compared to putting your coffee shop maybe in places like uh, Nakaseke, in places like, uh, <laughs> I want to mention those places, but you really need to be strategic when you are putting up or when you're starting up a coffee shop. That's number one. Number two, you have to develop a floor plan. What am I talking about here? So the flow plan is like, how are you going to run things when you start up this coffee shop? Is it something you're just starting up just because you have the money or you have a plan of how you're going to do things? For example, you have to be sure that when I start up this gen of starting up a coffee shop, number one, I'm going to look for the place. Number two, I'm going to look for utensils. Number three, I'm going to uh, start up a business plan. Number four, I'm going to make research about... Like, you really need to be with a floor plan for you to have a successful startup of a coffee shop in case you're starting up a coffee shop. And that brings us to point number three, the exterior plan. I talked about it briefly in our previous episode. People come to coffee shops because of the way they are designed. The exterior and interior of your coffee shop has to really, really be on point for you to be <laughs> with a successful coffee shop. because. Man, I won't go to a fake and nice, I mean, I won't go to a fake and bad looking coffee shop. I would rather go to a more calm and nice looking coffee shop, okay? Because, I mean, even if I'm taking bad coffee over there, but I feel at peace compared to taking good coffee in a place where I don't feel peace. Of course, I'll just come. Maybe if it's good, I know it's good. I'll just pick my cup of coffee from there and then have it on a go. But if it's peaceful and the interior is good, the exterior is good, I mean, you need to get these uh, uh, exterior, uh, interior designers to come through when you're designing such things. For example, there is my friend Linda. She has uh, the uh, company known as Aninda. Uh, she makes, she has designed various coffee shops in Uganda in terms of uh, interior designing and making of uh, uh, chairs and stuff like that. So in case you need her number, I can just call me, the number is right over there, and I will just give you her contact and then maybe you can do some business with her, but your interior and exterior has to really be on point if you have a successful coffee shop in Uganda. Number three, an automatic drip machine. What does an automatic drip machine? An automatic drip machine makes something like this. However, this one has some ice, but uh, it makes black coffees. And in any coffee shop, you know when I touch this, I just feel like sipping it all over, but for the purposes of video, let me just leave it alone. But in any coffee shop when you're starting, it has to be there. Because 
Dream machines make it easier when you're in a rush and oh, it just started up and someone just comes and they want coffee because we all know coffee for its originality as being black. When I talk about black, I'm talking about something without milk. Yes, I can add in here milk, but it's originally black. So when I have a, a, an automatic drip machine, it makes my work easier. Even though I don't have an espresso machine at the moment, it's easier for me to start running the business because I know I'm going to be able to give out coffee beverages. So it's something that you really need to uh, uh, consider when you're starting up a coffee shop. And maybe in more episodes to come, we shall have to uh, consider talking about the prices of these uh, different uh, equipments in the coffee industry. Where and when and how can you get these equipments? Because trust me, they are very, very expensive. If you have started or if you're running a coffee shop and you have a, maybe a friend uh, who has a coffee shop, they will tell you that whenever they are buying these equipments, they are in millions and millions of money. So if someone breaks it right away, <laughs> trouble so the other thing you have to be with is a blender you know sometimes we take blenders for granted but blenders really really help in daily day day running of businesses or activities in a coffee shop if you have a coffee and some client needs it blended like you have ice and maybe they need it crushed or you have coffees your signatures and they involve coffee into them and you need to blend them so a blender is there to do that work for you so if you're starting up a coffee shop make sure that you have enough money to purchase all the things that i'm talking about right here okay because it's no joke when you're starting up something that really requires expensive things that's when when a newly opened up coffee shop you'll find a few things there but after a year or two you find that coffee shop has literally everything because they have bought some things slowly by slowly. It's a gradual process for you to really, really equip your coffee shop with everything they need to make good coffee, with everything to provide service to that client or to that customer who is visiting your coffee shop. So a blender is one thing that you really need to consider and as well as a curbside van, okay? Because this is going to increase on, first of all, your brand awareness to your audience out there or your clientele out there because believe me if you're situated maybe in Nakasero or in Golobi or in Kololo or in Ruraga and you have your coffee shop over there and you use your curbside van to travel to places like uh, Anansana believe me no one is going to fail to buy that cup of coffee from you if they know that your brand is good and gives out good coffee so you need to consider having such things because they really help in uh, uh, cheering up uh, your brand and also like reaching out uh, out there to people who are considering to support you in terms of buying your coffee in terms of buying other related products that your company or that your coffee store provides the other thing you need to have is a water filtration system so here's the thing coffee is really a complex thing to do it's really 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 a hard thing to come out when you don't consider such things for example coffee has components that make it hard to balance with any kind of water that's why these days there is the so-called fourth wave of coffee whereby coffee is becoming a science now whereby you need to use a certain amount of water you used to use a certain temperature of water you used to use a certain a type of water all those things have to be considered but just to make it easier when you're starting up a coffee shop just have a filtration system because coffee is not good with hard water coffee is good when it's filtered and the water is really really low on components which will make it easier to balance with the components in a coffee because coffee has over a million components that some of them we don't know them but the major one is the caffeine and when you have hard water hard water won't balance well with caffeine and in coffee why we take coffee of course one of the reasons is caffeine because it will stimulate your body uh, system and in the process it's making you and uh, it's making you happy it's making you joyful and maybe for those who say they take coffee just to work it's a working booster so there are different components why you really I mean there are different components in coffee and you really consider uh, to be with a filtration uh, water system in your company or in your coffee store when you're opening up. The other thing is sink. <laughs> so this might sound so vague, but a sink is something that you really, really, really have to consider. How are you going to design that sink? 
how big is the sink going to be? How and where are you going to locate that sink? So that goes back to uh, having maybe the designer or the interior designer or maybe having the plumber come on station or come on, on, on site to make sure that the system installed is fully, fully, fully well uh, installed so that it doesn't create any bad look on your coffee shop or it doesn't create damage on your coffee store where you've uh, decided to put. Thirdly, oh, another thing that you need to put into your consideration when you're starting up a coffee shop is the security system. Now, this is this is very, very, very key because in that coffee shop, you have things worth millions and millions of money. So if you don't put a security system and maybe someone comes and <laughs> steals something, of course you're going, back, you're going to go back to zero because that's a definite or an obvious case because you're not going to find them anywhere. But if you have a security system and it alarms you whenever something happens, you're good to go. In any other way, also another method of having a security system is you're working with expensive machines sometimes which are difficult to get you have to install uh, um, awareness equipment. For example, if the power is so much or is too much and it's going to affect the machines you're using, have you put in place something that will control or address that power and warn you that this power is too much and cuts it down? So all of those things you really need to consider when you're starting up uh, a coffee shop. The other thing is set high standards. Don't start up your coffee shop on a low standard because when you start up a coffee shop on a low standard, people won't take that standard even if you improve the high standard in any case. So if you start up on a high standard, someone will come to that coffee shop and they will be very, very, very happy to come back next time because they know your standard is very, very, very good. The other thing is staff or employees. Now I use two elements here, training staff and employees. There's a point of getting trained employees, which is good. It saves you uh, time and resources, but also when you get trained, I mean, when you get employees and they're not trained and you train them yourselves, one thing you are sure of is you're going to be with a good product and a person who really, really knows you, company, how it does uh, your things let me say your norms in that store or in that coffee shop but secondly you trust those people trust is one thing that keeps these businesses running because believe me if you don't trust your barista or if you don't trust your waiter or your pastry chef or any other person you're working with or your manager in that store there is no way you're going to make sales out of the business because you'll be at home and you think this person is selling out information uh, maybe your recipe things uh, into another coffee shop or you'll be at home and you think this person is still with your money because it's handling all the resources <laughs> within that uh, store so if you don't trust them and if you don't train them to uh, the level you want them believe me you you have a bad start when you're starting up a coffee shop so the other thing is having a social media strategist now we all know that social media is king these days and we all know that we sell products, we brand our, our, our products on social media. So, so that's why companies like all stores like Starbucks have social media platforms that are really, really strong. They are engageful, they are pretty well looking on the interface and people can easily engage with them because they want to put their product out there so that they can get that clientele from uh, social media. Because if, for example, I'm in Uganda, but I follow what Starbucks does, Companies like Enduro Coffee, I mean, they have their social medias on point because they know the power of social media. So that's why you really need to have a social media strategist when it comes to uh, starting up a coffee shop because they're going to strategize on how you're going to sell your product, on how your store is going to look online, and how your clients are going to interact with uh, the, 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 the products you're putting out or your brand. So these are all things you really have to consider when starting up a coffee shop. Two, you must have a roster. Okay, I know starting up a roster is very, very expensive, but if it's possible, please use your own roasting company. You can start up either your roasting company 
or you can have a simple sample roaster as long as you roast your own coffee one it saves you from too much uh, expenditure but also you're guaranteed of the quality of your coffee that you're going to put out there but alternatively if you don't have a sample roaster if we or if you cannot uh, manage to handle a roaster just use <laughs> other roasteries that are around but make sure that you monitor the coffee roasting process because it will help you to manage or to control the quality of roasting of your coffee okay so one last thing that you need to consider when it comes to setting up a coffee shop is shelving okay shelving most coffee shops don't take it as something that is really really important but the style of shelving or the shelves the way you arrange them in your coffee shop really gives it a look and it gives it a style so if you have a proper shelving style believe me you someone will have intent to come to your coffee shop and it will help you like display different things when it comes uh, to displaying of coffee shops so there are many things that you really need when you're starting up a coffee shop or when you're setting up a coffee shop but those are the few things that i would just advise you to start with for more information you can uh, reach out to me on my number that you see over there but otherwise thank you for watching gather now network and thank you for subscribing if you are a returning subscriber but if you haven't subscribed and watching this video please click that red button over here please subscribe to gather now network more videos are coming if in in any case you haven't uh watched the previous videos please stop this video and go back <laughs> and watch your previous videos because it's a series of uh, events or episodes that we are creating right here and it will be important for you if you watch the first video for uh, you to get what we're talking about here otherwise thank you for watching gather now network and i'll see you next time in the next episode bye bye